at the Defense IQ Land Warfare Europe Conference held in Bucharest, Lt. Col. Peter Bistriansky, project manager for the Slovak Army's modernization program, announced that Slovakia is set to receive its first CV-90 MK-4 infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs. This marks a significant milestone in Slovakia's ongoing modernization efforts, as the country transitions from Soviet-era military equipment to Western platforms. The acquisition of the CV-90S is in line with NATO requirements, strengthening Slovakia's defense capabilities and interoperability with the alliance. The Slovak Ministry of Defense selected the CV-90 MK-4 after a thorough evaluation process, where it outperformed competitors like the Lynx KF-41 and Asgard. Under a government-to-government -government agreement signed on December 12, 2022, Slovakia secured a contract valued at 1.4 billion dollars, 1.3 billion euros, for 152 CV-90 MK-4 vehicles, with deliveries expected by 2026. This acquisition is a critical component of Slovakia's broader strategy to modernize its mechanized forces, support regional defense initiatives, and ensure its alignment with NATO defense standards. The contract is structured in two phases. The first phase covers the procurement of 152 vehicles, while the second phase will involve acquiring an additional 71 units between 2027 and 2030. These vehicles will replace Slovakia's aging Soviet-era tracked IFVs, such as the BMP-1, BMP-2, and BVPM, and are expected to play a key role in the creation of a heavy mechanized brigade, as outlined in Slovakia's NATO capability targets from 2017. The CV-90 MK-4 is the latest model in the CV-90 series, produced by BAE Systems, and offers enhanced performance and capabilities. The vehicle features a new Scania engine delivering up to 1,000 horsepower, paired with an upgraded X300 heavy-duty transmission. The CV-90 MK IV's gross vehicle weight rating has been increased from 35 to 37 tons, allowing for a greater payload capacity without sacrificing agility. This version of the CV-90 is the first Western IFV to be equipped with a Qualified Active Protection System APS, adding a significant layer of defense against incoming threats. Additionally, the vehicle incorporates a fourth-generation electronic architecture, allowing for future technological upgrades and improvements. The Slovak order includes 122 infantry fighting vehicle variants, all equipped with the advanced D-series turret. These turrets are armed with a 35mm autocannon, Spike LR anti-tank guided missiles, and the Elbit System's Iron Fist active protection system. The remaining vehicles in Slovakia's order include specialized variants for command and control, engineering, recovery, and anti-material rifles, as well as grenade launcher squads. The procurement deal also emphasizes industrial cooperation, ensuring significant involvement from Slovak companies such as the state-owned ZTS, PESEL. This collaboration will not only bolster Slovakia's defense capabilities, but also provide substantial economic benefits to the nation's defense industry. The overall program cost, including VAT, amounts to 1.688 billion euros and covers the procurement, infrastructure upgrades, and training systems. Slovakia's acquisition of the CV-90 MK-4 is part of a larger effort to modernize its armed forces and meet its NATO commitments. The country has already taken significant steps in enhancing its defense infrastructure. In July 2024, Slovakia received the first two of 14 F-16 Block 7072 fighter jets from Lockheed Martin, which will replace its Soviet-era MiG-29s. The remaining jets are expected to be delivered by the end of 2025. Slovakia is also strengthening its air defense capabilities by purchasing six mobile air defense systems from Israel for 554.3 million euros. On the ground, the country is acquiring 76 Patria AMV XP-8 by eight armored vehicles, with production involving Slovak companies to ensure local participation. Additionally, Slovakia is set to replace its aging fleet of T-72 tanks with over 100 modern main battle tanks, aiming to field 45 of them by 2030. To further enhance its artillery capabilities, Slovakia is investing in the Zuzana 2-155mm self-propelled gun howitzers, known for their long-range precision. In a joint acquisition with the Czech Republic, Slovakia has also approved the purchase of over 1,300 heavy terrain vehicles for 708.3 million euros to replace its outdated truck fleet. Slovakia's decision to invest in the CV-90 MK-4 infantry fighting vehicles is a crucial step in modernizing its military and aligning with NATO defense standards. This acquisition, alongside other key modernization efforts, underscores the country's commitment to enhancing its defense capabilities and fulfilling its obligations as a NATO member.
By replacing aging Soviet-era equipment with state-of-the-art Western platforms, Slovakia is positioning itself for greater defense readiness and regional security contributions in the years to come. Thank you.